There's a new update for the C2 and the G2. Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Today I am back here with the LG C2 and I'm gonna be talking about the C2 and the G2 today because as of the time of filming this video, which is, the hell date is it? February 16th, 2024, LG has a new software update that'll be coming to a C2 or a G2 near you. Now, what I usually like to do in these videos is check to see if they've gone ahead and pushed it to my C2. So let's go ahead and check that real quick. Press and hold the settings button on that remote. Let's go over to support, software update, and my current version on the TV is 04.40.90. If you are not even on this firmware version and you want to learn what comes with this update, I'll have a video either carded in or in the description. But let's see if the new update is being pushed yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click check for updates. It's going to wait and no updates found. So now I am what some might call a risk taker. And for your enjoyment, what I'm actually going to do in this video since the update hasn't been pushed out yet is I'm just going to take this little USB drive right here and I'm going to go ahead and manually install the update on the TV. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because if this update decides to break the C2s and the G2s out there, you watching this video will have a heads up on what's to come. Now if you'd like to learn how to manually update your LG TV, I have a video showing you the step by step on how to do that. I'll go ahead and link or drop that in the description. But in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and get the update installed on this USB drive. Then I'm going to go ahead and manually install it on the TV. Of course, I'll come back and let you know if I encounter any problems during installation. If install goes smoothly, next thing I'll do is I'll come back on the other side and we'll talk about what comes with the update, which is software version 04.40.91. All right, and I'm back. And for the first time since I've owned this TV since, I don't know, I've had it for maybe about a year and a half now, and I've done many manual installations of the updates between not only the C2, but my C3. But for the first time since I've owned this display, I'm unable to install the update. This, at the time of this recording, is actually the next day from what you've previously seen. And I spent a good amount of time yesterday trying to figure out why I could not manually install the update. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I have an install video step by step. I've done the manual installation a number of times. And what happens when I do it this time with the C2 has never happened. What I normally do is I get the file transferred over to the USB drive with the steps that LG says you have to do. And every single time until this time, when I plug the USB drive into the USB port on the TV, and by the way, you can do this in any of the USB ports on the TV, I've never had an issue, is a message will immediately pop up and say, software, blah, 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 is available to install. Do you want to install it now? Okay, that normally pops up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what pops up this time around. And for those of you watching the video and utilize your USB ports on the TV for something besides manually un installing updates, leave me a comment below if this is what you normally see when you plug in a USB drive. But let me show you real quick what's going on. Okay, the USB drive has now been plugged in and you see this message on the screen. Do you want to browse the file from the connected device? Now I can tell you in all the times that I've done manual updates with this TV, utilizing the exact same procedure, that message has never popped up. It immediately pops up, update file, blah, 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 firmware number, do you want to install it now, which is what's supposed to happen. So, I now pose a question or two based upon the last update that was put on this TV, 04.40.90. And what I'm wondering is, did LG change something in the software that now impacts the USB drives on the TV. Again, follow the exact same procedures to put the file on the USB drive as I always do, and the message normally pops up correctly. So that leads me to either believe something in 04.40.90 has changed the way the USB drives read USBs, 
Or the other possibility is that the file that LG put on the website for, for consumers to install on the TV for 04.40.91, maybe they discovered something after putting it on the website that can do some damage to the TV or change settings drastically or something, and they decided to put a block on it. But here, here's the thing on that. Why not just pull it off the website? If you discovered a problem, just pull it off the website and whenever you get that issue corrected, put it back on the website. You know, only people like me that are interested in installing a new firmware update like day one or day two, as soon as they notice it, that the only people that are gonna be impacted by this are people like me. And I'd, I'd probably venture to guess that most consumers that buy these TVs don't even know when a firmware update is, is, has been pushed out until it hits their TV and they get a message saying, hey, this firmware has been out. And there's, there's a chance that those firmware updates may not even hit your TV for weeks. So that's one of the reasons why I like doing these videos is I like to get the firmware updates installed on my displays as soon as they're available. That way I can test things, make sure that it doesn't break something major, anything like that. And I can bring that information to you all so that you can make an informed decision on whether to install the update or not. Meanwhile, 04.40.91 here is the first problem one for me as far as installing. And from here, I've now been put in a position where I'm just gonna have to wait until this comes over the air or I notice something changed with the file that you could download because I'm unable to install this update on the TV and do any testing for you all, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the next part, which is me explaining what comes with update 04.40.91. But I just wanted to go ahead and cut this part back into the video letting you know that I was actually unable to install the to firmware update period. So I could still share with you, according to LG, what comes with the update. I'm just unable to get it installed on my TV to ensure that it's not breaking something major. And who knows, might find out in the coming days that me being unable to install the file manually and it not being pushed over the air yet might end up being a good thing. As a matter of fact, while I'm here, let's just go ahead and test it. Let's see if it's been pushed yet. I have not checked this today. Head over to support, software update. There's the current firmware as usual. Check for updates and it's not found. So just as I suspected, hasn't been pushed out over the air and I'm unable to install manually. But next up, I'll go ahead and tell you what comes with update 04.40.91. All right, let's dive in to see what we got with 04.40.91. Before I jump into that, what do you think of this El Natural Light situation going on compared to what you saw, saw earlier? Uh, drop a comment below if you like the natural lighting better than uh, the other lighting. But uh, anyway, as you could see up here on the screen, uh, we got this is a pretty minor update in scale, it looks like. We got improvement and we got fixing minor bugs in software, although based on some of the comments I got, on my last video talking about the update before this, this might be a, a real fist pump situation for some of you out there. Me personally, I didn't experience very many issues that I can think of off the top of my head with uh, 04.40.90, but I certainly saw some comments uh, suggesting that there were some issues going on there. So based upon this update and what we got with it, those of you that were holding off updating to .90, does this give you any peace of mind to go ahead and update to .91? Drop a comment below. Let me know if that does anything for you. Outside of that, that's going to do it for the video. As always, appreciate you watching. And if you want to help support the channel, smash that like button. Gets my videos circulated out to more people. And of course, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Click the bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. But with all that being said, until the next one.